Hi, this is uh, Don Joe Franklin with um, Franklin Global Capital, and um, what I wanted to do today is just give some um, brief examples um, on how the Franklin Volatility Index works on various, um, I'm going to do an example on both currency futures and um, spot uh, forex, um, basically trading the same market, uh, it's just a matter of preference in terms of um, how you trade the instruments or which way which route to go whether it's in the futures market or the spot market um, so let's be real brief um, give an overview of how to look at positively correlated currency pairs and uh, negative correlated currency pairs and then look at the currency pairs individually Okay, so what I have up on the chart right now is um, is the uh, 60, which is uh, the currency futures for the euro, and uh, basically I have the basic uh, setting, the, de the default settings. I can show you that real quick. Um, like I said, there's just no bias whatsoever, and um, and what I'm demonstrating right now is basically 60 minute chart, uh, the default settings. Um, I left everything intact for the purpose of this uh, live example and I'm looking at the last uh, week um, this is April 21st and um, so this just actually happened uh, this is the 60 as I said before and as you can see here um, when you have the black line that falls, this represents a statistical extension or it's on, on the short side. And as you can see on um, the visual on the chart, that's exactly what happened. Um, here we got a statistical um, extreme to go to buy on the chart, same thing. And that's exactly what happened. Um, we did get a sell signal here. And as you can see, it kind of, it, it's slowly making its way down. It, it kind of retracted, but you know, this is not surprising. This is Good Friday, um, and, and you know, basically because it's a U.S.-based type holiday, you know, it's not. This is not a time I would trade anyway. So, um, you know, these are the various moves. This is a statistical buy um, extension, uh, basically extending the current buy that we're in right now. So, kind of go back slowly and look at the various signals, and um, you know kind of see what you could have done here and um, so you know this is trading a single market on its own I mean it's not something I typically like to do because I know that currency is an interconnected market and you know it's more than just the euro so let me go to another example 60 minute chart for the British pound and the reason why I chose 60 minute charts is because I'm not sure what type of trader you are if you're a scalper or if you're looking for long term trades personally I'm a scalper this is the British pound same kind of deal kind of see what's going on here um, you got your various ex uh, extensions and buys and sell signals um, a lot of people won't trade the um, the first extreme they'll wait for the second one and you can kind of see these signals can get out, get you out of these trades faster than the traditional you know stop loss um, you know points on the charts and you know there's so many different ways to look at a chart everyone has a way of interpreting it so I don't pay too much attention to that I pay attention to the indicator like perfect example right here we got a sell a, um, an extension on a sell and it stays in between these bands that's a downtrend it's a very strong downtrend we start here and then here we get a uptick and that's to get out and basically that's exactly what happens so I mean I look at what's happening on the chart yeah it gets congested like this is right here but that's to be expected um, there's a way to adjust these signals to kind of you know see what you know what you want to do and how you want to trade